A home here in Chickasha with a really nice landscape is that of Andy and Carol Farrell. They've done quite a lot of work here on their backyard. They've got a large backyard with extensive turf areas and it's divided up very well with paths, patios, and lots of large bed areas, planting areas. Here in this part of their backyard, they've got a water feature surrounded by lots of landscaping. And here behind the waterfall is a plant that I think is quite unique. This is a regular mullein, a plant that is naturalized through a lot of our state uh, introduction from Europe, but uh, making a really nice statement here with this bold display of foliage and these large yellow flower spikes. Here on the back of the waterfall, they have a mix of different annuals and perennials and different shrubs and things like that. Here in the water, they've got the Tropicana canna with that beautiful red-orange striped variegation. A nice touch to the waterfall that makes such a nice sound here is the golden sedum sort of spilling over those rocks, sort of mimicking the water as it trails toward the pond. A lot of people, when they design their landscape, will lay out the pathways first. And the pathways really make a difference here at the Farrell residence. You can see they come by the water garden here, go over a bridge, and lead down to the small greenhouse. And then they continue on to the corner of the property with a really nice seating area. They've used lots of rock in these pathways, and as you come through this arbor with the wisteria here, the pathway gets a little bit larger with these large sandstone flagstone uh, elements. You can see they've got lots of plantings along the sides here, and then in between the cracks, they have a nice creeping thyme. Can't wait to see this in a few years when that fills in. Interesting plant along the way here is this amaranthus sometimes referred to as the summer poinsettia, an annual plant that can get upwards to five or six feet tall. Beautiful coloration in the foliage of this plant. Now up near the house, we have a nice bed of annuals and perennials mixed together. We've got some marigolds, some crepe myrtles, again, lamb's ears. We've got some Malva sylvestris and the Gloriosa daisy, sort of a black-eyed Susan type plant is putting on a spectacular display. <music> <music>